Body bags were whore lies. What's up, y'all? Dubby Doubles at you again. Another week on the body bags. Uh, the flick I got for y'all this week is from 1992, uh, released by Full Moon Pictures, and that is Netherworld. Of course, directed by uh, Charles Band, written and directed by Charles Band. Um, I think he shared the directing chair with David Schmoller, who was actually one of the actors in the film. I found that kind of interesting. Um, when I was looking up the film, it was originally slated to be directed by Ted Nicolau, which I think would have been very interesting as well. Um, basic plot on this one, uh, a young man, um, father dies, um, he's apparently pretty well to do, and has a... Uh, He's pretty rich, like I said, and he has a, a huge estate in Louisiana. So, uh, of course, the young son is inheriting uh, this large estate. And while uh, checking out the grounds and <clears throat> some of the local uh, town folk, I guess, plantation people around the area, um, you know, he, he ends up meeting some weird people and some weird shit starts happening. Um, now, as far as go, just the pacing in this one was really, really weird. Uh, it, it was really tedious. Uh, it was a tedious watch. There was some slow stuff. And um, really heavy on the romance. Like, I didn't mind, uh, you know, you have your hefty, or pretty decent amount of nudity and stuff on there. Um, said it really just comes off as a romance first kind of flick though um, but I don't know nothing against the ro uh, romance flicks but that's not really what I usually go for in my horror um, even though there has been some that I found was more passable you know even the Crimson Peak or something I, I think was more of a the way it did it was more poetic gothic kind of stuff so uh, I don't know it fit the story uh, better, I think. Um, there's a lot of involvement of this local club in the flick. It's kind of like a bar dive juke joint. Um, and the, the local house band is uh, Edgar Winter uh, from the Edgar Winter group. Of course, uh, did uh, Frankenstein. I don't know if y'all know that classic rock track from the 70s. But uh, of course, the uh, brother of Johnny Winter. Uh, just super talented musician and stuff and actually pretty big rock star and I was kind of surprised to see that they a full moon <laughs> flick got him to you know appear in the flick multiple times and do a decent amount of the um, soundtrack for the flick so that I found that really cool um, when there is some gore uh, slash maybe creature scenes uh, practical effects are really good, really solid. I uh, enjoy the gore moments. There's just not enough of them. They're spread out very far apart. And uh, the action and pacing could have been wound up. So I, I really think um, they could have worked with the pacing, made this a less tedious watch, less tedious of a watch. Um, the story had a lot of potential and uh, you know, the, like I said, the creature effects and stuff that they did use uh, were great. They just they just needed more of all that stuff. Uh, it really just felt like a uh, lonely TV movie with, uh, with actually so little bit of nudity in it. Uh, like I said, heavy on the romance, and it really just took me out of the flick. Um, said I, I, this flick could have been so much more than what it was. It, it had... A lot of good things going for it, but the overall uh, end result just did, didn't uh, didn't achieve the proper compilation of all the <clears throat> of all the factors to make a great movie, really a great horror movie, in my opinion. Um, so that's that being said, that was the 1992 Netherworld. Um, really generous I'd give it five out of ten uh, 
probably honestly more like a 4 out of 10. Uh, watchable flick, I have seen worse, but really nothing special and nothing I'm going to just dive in and try to rewatch anytime soon. Uh, I am, like I said, I, I am a huge Full Moon fan and a, actually a pretty damn big uh, Charles Van fan. Um, of course, his family, you know. Richard and all that shit holding it down as well, so. But that, this one was just a miss for me personally, but. <clears throat> so until next week, y'all. Appreciate y'all watching. Peace out.